Hey everyone, I'm Arier, and this is going to be a review of a surprisingly fun gun. The Iron Banner Machine Gun, the Silvered Dread. This thing is... It shouldn't be fun to use. I mean, it has eh impact, eh range, eh stability, and eh reload. By all intents and purposes, this thing should be a piece of shit. But I love using it! It is just... F it's basically, if you got a really good roll on a scout rifle, that's what this gun feels like. Because it doesn't have much recoil, even though the stability should by no means indicate that. In fact, this thing should be jumping. But the recoil is almost non-existent. Oh, hey, man. Um, the reload, it's a machine gun. It sucks, regardless. The impact is basically the equivalent of a scout rifle hit. Maybe not a high impact, but a medium range impact scout rifle is not bad, but it fires incredibly fast. We're almost through this. Keep fighting. I haven't even upgraded this all the way, and I really don't care about the perks except for field scout. That is awesome. Uh, braced frame, because that'll be counteracted by a field scout, because I'll not even worry about the magazine. I actually love the accurized ballistics, because it keeps everything in tight clump grouping, and it has a nice little buff on both um, the range and stability. Life support is eh. Spray and play actually might be useful, because of, it'll help the reload speed, but that's personal choice. I still wish it would someday roll with a Firefly on machine gun, but... Hmm. Overall, though, this gun is... It's fun to use. It hits like an autofiler scout rifle that fires absurdly fast. It looks good to aim down the side. It has a decent scope, which is weird because it's a scoped... It's a scoped machine gun. Why does it have it? I don't know. It has the Iron Banner aesthetic. It looks like something out of World War I. It looks like something that will tear you apart. And then it delivers by tearing people apart. And it's just fun to use. And like all the Iron Banner stuff out of year three, it seems to be void. I haven't seen anything drop that isn't yet. Maybe that's just my luck, I don't know. It's just a fun gun to use. I've been making a point to run with it at Archon Forge, and just a few hits, it's incredibly accurate at range. These stats are, are very deceiving, because for how it actually plays, it shouldn't be nearly that good. But it is. And I just like using it. A lot of these Iron Banner weapons I'm finding, even though they look kind of weird, and this is actually one of the better looking ones in my opinion, it plays better than the stats should b allow. It's almost like these stats are ghosted to the point where they're actually further out, but they don't want to give away the fact that they're amazing. It's just a fun gun, and if you pick up a copy of it, that's great. And if you get one with either higher range or higher stability, definitely higher stability, personal opinion there, this gun just you'll have a lot of fun with it. So if you get a copy, keep it. If you get a great god roll, share the hell out of that because you're going to tear through people. And all the same, I will be incredibly jealous. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope it helps. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you can, see this button right down here in the corner? Yeah, yeah. That's the subscribe button. If you haven't pressed it yet, press it! Yeah, please! Ah. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Thanks all the same, everyone. Hope you enjoy. And if you can, support me on Patreon. Uh, I use it for things like friends, so I bought Hopeless, because that, that would be a good thing. Yeah, I know. I'm a dork. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Later.